against Renekton in the top lane, but they'll yeah. probably see the speed of switch up. So he basically starts a Dorian shield, tries to sustain either 1v1 or 1v2. Uh, the thing with the last game as well, they also went back to their Mal fight for him before in the top lane, and at avoiding that early quick Q burst oh. of Corky in the lane and Spyro not looking too good right here. It goes down below 100, and it's going to be the quick kill, but it actually goes over first blood to Mithy with the two assists going on to those carries. Beautiful tower dive. Elise is one of the best junglers at pulling off those tower dives because she can drop tower aggro, but she didn't even have to. Trying on the Beautiful. answer. Oh, the flash and the pull in. He gets the kill on Mazarin. Amazing play by Nuke Duck there. That was so good from Nuke Duck, and he almost wants more. That CS disadvantage. Oh, he goes in. He just used Trickster. That's going to leave him quite open. He's forced to flash. The Orb of Deception comes back, catches him on the tail side. Almost gets hit up by Chum the Water a few times under the turret, but another kill. The focus on Mazarin in another five minutes to be the one. Mazarin does need to get some focus from Alanir, though. He's been out of lane too much. Ooh, hook in the box. Smith, or Mithy, rather, right under that. Stranglethorn goes down, but it looks like they are going to be slightly disengaging. Deadly Brother goes in. It's going to be a trade on the supports as the missile hits, but it could be Deadly Brother going down as well. Does he have the Valkyrie? He flashes over the wall, but the repel had not yet ended. Good hold by Dexter. <laughs> yeah, good job by Dexter holding on into it until we have the flash from Corky. Able to get that one now. Either of the squishier champions here for Gaming Gear. Zoro Zero definitely in trouble now, though. As we take stock here, we see Mazarin going to the top lane. He has 67 CS, so he's trying to make Ooh. up on 30 CS here. He's 2 to 0 in that mid lane. <laughs> he goes for Chum the Waters, throws it out. This is, I believe, not going to be a passive for Zach here. If he does have it, they're going to... No, he does have the passive, right? He has not gone down whatsoever in any gank, but do they have the time? Nibs on the backside doesn't want to take aggro from the turret, but he's about to get it. And with that, gets enough health back to make it out as Nuke Duck starts the his row. pursuit. Dexter's coming in, and NBS is extremely oh, low. Oh, dear. The time it took them to do this, you know, we say if it takes good, more than 10 seconds, you might want to back out. They're forced to go for a flash there, but all in all, works out for them. This entire jungle becomes the area of Lemon Dogs. Going very hard on this turret at 3v3 situation, and Spiro in the background getting taken down. Looks like they are gonna be able to go for Deadly Brother here. It's just a matter of time microing in each other on that turret aggro. Dexter gets it. He gets away with the flash. Not too bad for Elise though. Double kill coming in huge for Dexter there, making plays. Yeah. Pretty much at this point. With the damage being the one to come out. Nuketuck looking oh, for another fight. That's... He gets chum the waters. This should still be in his favor. And Mazarin realizes that halfway through. One last spirit rush. But the trickster and the flash after the orb misses, but it's only gonna be an auto attack and a whip to the face by the ninth tail. So that's another weakness of fit. when Lemon Dogs get their lead, they usually win the game, and that's why most of their practices even, mm -hmm. if they if they just get an early lead, Ooh. then they'll restart. Start. Mithy down, very low. The Cataclysm onto the already dead support, trying to go oh! very hard on him. This gives LD time to size up the fight. They're looking at what they want, and right now it's only going to be on the outside. Tabs does get too far ahead this time. Gets the Chum the Waters on him, but the barrier's there. NBS and the rest of the team weren't ready to fully go in. They are, again, microing the damage in and out. Zoro low to under 100. Tabs is now 5, now 300, but they're going back into the fight. Deadly Brother low. They could be acing the team here, and Spiro gets out by himself, and Eleni wasn't even able to make it to the fight after the first engage. Gaming Gear had just been bleeding money all over the map, so they had wanted to try and make it. Early into the game, this is when we should really be seeing everybody ramp up, but Lemon Dogs is hitting their peak right now. Oh, and Lemon Dogs going for the classic EU Baron towards the end of the game. This is really where, if Gaming Gear wanted to take something, they have to do it now. But Nuke Duck in a one-man army is going to hold off the team. He takes down Deadly Brother to about 100, but he is able to help with the, or the help of Zoro Zero to grab that kill on his oh, Spyro. The and they keep going in. Mazarin, a good attack on a Nuke Duck here. This is a lot of damage they won't have for the fight. A very good kill in the shutdown that Mazarin needed that gold. The rest of the team to follow in. Zoro Zero and Dexter. This team has so much ability to chase. The Repel coming in, the Elastic Slingshot, and the chase coming in from Vayne's passive means that these guys will not be making it out alive. Woo, Tab's gonna finish that one off. They probably won't dive that Corky because he still has uh, his gap closer. But yep. right there, it was an early smite from us. Quite hard. You're against the Zyra, but once that Zyra misses the grasping root, it's kind of like yeah. the Blitz Fist being down. It's kind of a trade off situation. And Mithy and Tabs did very well for having a Vayne flash down very early. That's actually a pretty good point. You know, Alanir actually, after the blue buff, even though there were no wards down bottom yet, yeah. he went to do his wolves first. And by the time he came down to do the Jarvan sneaky gank into With that the bush, lantern, yeah. that's when the pink ward was just pasted, placed into that bush. 
Still trying to get a bit of aggression, but see, that being down now allows a few taps onto the turret. Tab's Ooh. taking some good damage there. Not good for him, but Dead of the Brother definitely liking that. He has the blue <laughs> buff. They gave it over to Corky. They need to stop these sieges, and they want those missiles to be coming out from him. And that and Gatling to stop the siege. Tabs with that uh, Bloodthirster. He's able to just heal right back up. You can see him right yep. there calling Dexter off of the minions. <laughs> hey, I need to lifesteal off of these. Give me back my HP. So we have a 15,000 gold lead rolling in here. The interest is starting to accrue there for we 11 go. dogs, and they're going to try to finalize this one. Going in very strong. They get Deadly Brother. The blue buff has been transferred. It's also going to be Elonir going down at the rest of the team. Mazarin running for the fountain. It looks like Lemon Dogs will be able to get this turret, and they're going to see what they can do inside the base the time they have. Yeah, dive very, uh, very predictable right there. Definitely not surprising. They're so far ahead, and they have this tanky Zack with his revive passive up. Very, very well played here from Lemon Dogs, though. They're going to get another inhibitor turret off this. For a team that it would be crazy to dive, having a Renekton, a Fizz, a Corky, and with a Thresh on him, you don't think there would be too much diving, but they brought the right composition to the game, and that has been how Lemon Dogs is really advancing every time. Another inhibitor, those were two consecutive for themselves. As they move out, 155 CS on Nuke Duck over Mazarin. Three full items to one completed Lich Bane. There we that go. is They're so much credit again. given to him. Spiral going down, MBS on the backside, and the fight is completely spit. It's split. It's GG trying to keep themselves alive here, but I think Lemon Dogs has the base for themselves, and they will have the Nexus. So they take the turret, bypass inhibitor. They're gonna end this one off. Some some nice golf claps from the crowd. Definitely a game that went very fast in Lemon Dog's favor. If they end this one before that 30, before 33, 34, it's gonna be our fastest game of the day so far. Dexter tanking up this last turret. They do have the minion wave coming in. It's going to be Lemon Dogs oh. with a very definitive victory here over Gaming Gear EU in our fourth game of the day. 29.01 on the clock. So they, they literally, they had every building destroyed and every champion dead at the end of that game. Get Lemon your, your playtime in, you're on stage. Lemon Dogs completely wiped Gaming Gear that game. That yep. Surgically removing them from the map every time. Nuke Duck kept so much pressure in the mid lane. Alunir lived there. That was also his lane. I don't think we saw one gank from Alunir. That we saw that mid a uh, mid he, gank by him and he actually charmed him right so, into the gank. Yeah, and he went, you know, he went bottom one time already. The ward had just been placed, so he was foiled there. Really, you know, stalling out the jungler and destroying the mid laner is basically